Wait, hey guys, Jasmine and Charlie here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to do the taping method, which is basically just another form on how to stretch your ears. So, as you can see, my boobs don't have my, um, I don't have my plugs in, and I'm currently at a 916th, at 916th. These are the plugs, tunnels, um, that I use. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to go right into it. So when you start um, taping your ears, what you want to do is make sure that, first of all, you clean your ears. So you could either do that with sea salt or um, with antibacterial soap if your ears are fully healed from your last stretch. Um, I was just in the shower, so I used soap. Um, and I've had my ears at 9 sixteenths for like about the past five months now so obviously they're going to be fully healed and um, when doing the taping method you could either use PTFE tape or bondage tape I prefer bondage tape because this is what PTFE tape looks like As you can see it's like very thin and um, it only bonds to itself um, the problem that I had is when I tried to put it on my plugs the first time that I tried the taping method, um, no matter how much um, lubricant I used, the plug wasn't going through my ear and I legit only had one layer of this stuff on. And as you can see, it's fairly thin. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's very thin. It's light. It's really anything so so yeah so I eventually gave up with trying to use the PTFE tape um, and that was from when I was trying to go from a double zero to seven sixteenths and this just just didn't really work out for me even like just the lubricant that I was using which is just holy butter it started making the PTFE tape deteriorate and it and I heard for a lot of people that it also dries out their ears so I went on to bondage tape, which looks like this. And you could get this at Spencer's or whatever. And if you want to try PTFE tape, you could get this from like Home Depot or anything for about like a couple bucks. Um, your parents might already have some in the house. So this is what it looks like. It's a little bit thicker than PTFE tape, but as you can see, it's very slick, very smooth. Um, you could get this at Spencer's for about eight bucks, and they will understand. At least the place that I go to, they understood that um, I was using this to stretch my ears. So I don't know if you have to be 18 to buy bondage tape, but I'm not 18 and they let me buy it because they knew I was using it to stretch my ears. And what I like about this so much is that um, it's durable. It lasts for a very long time. So you don't have to keep cutting out extra and extra and extra strips every time you want to retape. You could just keep building on the tape that you already have and it won't come off. Um, also, it's very smooth, so obviously um, when you put the um, whatever type of lubricant or moisturizer that you use for taping, um, it's not going to deteriorate and it's also going to slide in um, your lobe very easily. So yeah. Once you start to go to the larger sizes of stretching your ears, I would say like it would be ideal to start at a 2 gauge, a 2 or a 0 gauge, um, just because at a 2 gauge going to a 2 to a 0, um, it's such a huge jump, but I would say at the most double zero if you're going to continue to stretch to um, use the taping method because um, tapers, as we know, already can just do a shitload of damage to your ears and again if you're also not being careful they can be pretty painful and also lead to blowouts especially once you get to the larger sizes you do not want to be at the size where I am at and using tapers I don't know why people even make tapers um, past the double zero gauge it's beyond me it's just like I don't even know why somebody would want to use them they look huge um, they scare me so yeah so taping is definitely um, a lot safer because you're just going to gradually um, continue to add more tape throughout the week and add more layers. Um, you can add one to two layers every one day, every two days, every three days. Again, whatever um, 
works for your body. So always listen to your body. If something starts to hurt, um, just stop and let your ears rest for a day or two and then try it again. Maybe by then your ears are going to feel better. Also, don't forget to massage your ears. Um, don't forget to moisturize. And if your ears are very irritated, try using steel or titanium plugs or tunnels. I know they did so much great stuff for my ears. Like I never had any irritation once I started using steel. And um, sea salt soaks are amazing as well. They're just beautiful awesomeness sent from the heavens and all of the different gods of the universe. <laughs> um, so yeah. So I'm just going to show you guys how I apply the holy butter to my ears, which is just like a mix of um, different butters and good stuff that help to moisturize and stretch your ears. And as you can see, I'm running very low on this. So I just take some, rub it to my fingers, and rub it on my ears. And I make sure I go inside my ear too, because my lobes are big enough where my fingers can go through. If your fingers can't go through, then just go like that and it should go on the inside. I'm sorry, I'm watching some like really creepy horror movie, horror scary movie. It's called The Traveler, I believe, or The Hitchhiker, something like that. Um, it's on Netflix. So yeah, and so now my ears are nice and lubricated. And now I'm going to show you how to cut off a strip and apply it to the plug. So stay tuned. Okay, hey guys. Um, hopefully. Um, this is a good enough angle for you guys to see, and excuse the fact that I'm wearing a belly shirt, um, hopefully nobody's offended. So basically, these are my, um, tunnels, and what you want to do is take off the O-rings. I measure out this distance here along the tape so I know how wide I need to cut the tape in order for it to fit around the pluck. So I'm actually going to try to make this easier just by cutting off a large strip. Alright, so here's a large strip here. And what I do is, here's the plug, and then I just hold it right up against it, and then I see how wide it has to be. And it only has to go to about here. So I hold that with my finger, and I know that this is the distance of the tape that I need to cut off. And then I just cut. And this is the strip that I have. As you can see, this is like a jagged end, but that's because this was the side of the tape that um, was previously cut from like other times. So I'm just going to cut off any excess and you just trim it. All right, and this is the strip of tape that we're going to use. And what some people like to do is add a little bit of like um, whatever moisturizer they use onto their um, tunnel or plug to make it stick better. Um, I don't necessarily need to, but I'm just going to just add a little bit just for the purposes of this video. That's the holy butter. I have a little bit on my finger. You probably can't see it. And you only really want a super light coating, so... Alright, and then now I'm just going to stick the tape onto the plug and wrap it all the way around, like so. And I smooth it out around, and here is the taped tunnel. And depending on how stretchy your ears are, you can decide to add one layer of the tape or two layers. Um, but that's depending on how stretchy your ears are, how um, healed they are, and yeah. So 
just be careful like listen to your own body like don't overstretch your ears if you know your ears can't handle it because even though taping your ears is a lot safer than tapering you can still obviously get a blowout if you're trying to dead stretch too quickly or with too large of a size of a plug so I'm going to do the second plug now and just to just as a recap and I'll probably like fast forward through this Hey guys, I'm back. Now I'm going to show you guys how I put the taped plugs into my ear, tunnels into my ear. So I just do it like I normally would. And then, I don't know if you can see, but I'm just gently working the tunnel. And because you might have a little bit of resistance, but it's really important that it doesn't hurt. This doesn't hurt at all. All right, I'm just making sure that it goes into place. And it's in. A part of it is just the fact that sometimes the tape can slide around, so it can be a little tricky at times, but once you start, you'll get the hang of it. And you can choose to put the o-ring back on. Sometimes you might cut tape that's too wide and the o-ring can't go back on. And that's okay. I'm going to do my other ear. Alright. And that is how you tape your ears. So yeah, um, stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to be doing a, another body art forms haul soon because I just bought a crap load of stuff from them today. So that's super exciting. Um, and I'll also start to get more into like talking videos about how I started self-piercing, um, why I do it, piercings that I have now. Um, and another thing is since people were asking me how my belly button is, it's 100% healed um, and doing fine for the people who are trying to be rude, which wasn't as many people as I thought it would be. It didn't get infected at all. Um, it, was, it was fine throughout the whole healing process. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Feel free to hit me up on my Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. And I'll leave all those links down below. If you have questions, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll get to them as soon as possible. Bye.